hello everybody welcome back so today we will understand how can we secure apache with let's encrypt on ubuntu 20.04 with ec2 instance so basically we are going to enable https on a domain which is running on ec2 instance on the base image of ubuntu 20.04 we have created an ec2 instance earlier so we'll open it up and we are going to use this ac2 instance that we have configured earlier to install the ssl certificate we're going to use let's encrypt so now if you see uh, let's go ahead and connect it so we'll try to connect using our ssh client in the terminal just copy this line and now you open your terminal and then you paste it so this will ask you for a prompt so we are now connected to the EC2 instance. So now we have connected ourselves to the EC2 instance that we have purchased. We have, we have one more domain which we have purchased. Let's check that domain. So it's not opening. Okay. Let's go to incognito window and try and open it out. It's still HTTPS. I have to use HTTP. Yeah. So now if you see, uh, we have the Apache default page over here. Uh, my domain is pointed to the Apache. Now, I already have the Apache installed by the way. So I'll just try to see the history. No, I, you, you just have to do sudo apt install Apache 2 that will install your Apache. That's it. We will now try and install the certbot dependency. So certbot is the Apache, uh, is the let's encrypt plugin that we can use to have a free SSL. So open source SSL certificate that will get generated and get stored over here. So we are trying to install the plugin Python 3 is the space. Okay, the hyphen. Okay, yeah. Now we put the hyphen over here. So that's it. Click on Y it's now started installing so once it gets installed let's wait for some time so once it got installed now we have the certport plugin installed now what we will do is we will configure our virtual host so my domain is sufferpay.com so i have to create a virtual host for the domain uh, Okay, so it's available at sufferpay.com to Okay, so before that, what I do is, uh, let me copy the configuration that is by there with default config. I'll just try and copy the configuration, the default configuration, and from there I will create my domain based configuration so there are there is always a default configuration that is present in apache 2 so not the default ssl it is triple zero triple zero default yeah so now i will just copy this to it sufferpay.com dot com dot conf yes so no I, I, I the location is wrong it seems so i have to just change the location so we will change the location so i have to put it into that uh, different location it should be under sites available and then sufferpay.com.cunf so let's do that okay yeah so i've copied it now i'll try and edit that configuration so open it yeah so now this is my configuration for the virtual host so whatever domain i am i am putting in so if my domain is sufferpay.com it will read it if i hit sufferpay.com it will use this configuration to open the page so now there are few few configurations that we need to do over here uh, one is the server name and the second is the server admin and i also need to change the document root so i will go ahead and change the document root over there server admin server name and server alias i'll try to put those 
values over here, one by one. So I put, I, I am putting server name, server alias, it, the name should be, server alias should be www.sufferpay.com. I will change it. I will change the domain document root, wrhtml, sufferpay.com. This is the folder that I'll be having. Now, we'll change the server admin email as well. Just provide a valid email. That's okay for now. So now let's uh, cop uh, save and exit. So we'll restart the Apache configuration. It is not required, but let's do it. Actually, it is required, so because we have changed the configuration before that i will create the directory for sufferpay.com where my html and other f related files will be hosted well, let's just create the directory i need to add sudo yes so my directory has been created i will just uh, i will just add a sample html over there maybe let me let me restart the Okay, I've just tested it. Let me test. Okay, now uh, let's now enable the site that we have added. So I'll just enable the site. So my site name is sufferpay.com. We will just enable sufferpay.com.conf. So now this, this is also enabled. I'll just press enter. It says to reload, we'll reload a bit later. We'll now try to do, when I try to disable the default one, we'll just triple zero hyphen default dot configuration, else everything will go to the default one. We have to disable that. So I'm just disabling it for now. <coughs> Sorry. Now what I will do is I'll test it and then I will reload the configuration apache configuration we'll just do a reload so it's just yeah just copy paste this we are copy pasting yes so now my system yes so my apache configuration is reloaded now everything is fine i will go to sufferpay.com and see before that what i will do is i will create a uh, simple HTML file. So I'll just uh, vi. Maybe maybe I can create a simple index.html. Right. So I'll just put a h1 heading with some text. Now, the, now I will save and exit. And it'll just reload it. Not necessary, but yeah, let's reload it and we'll see now. This is the domain I have without HTTP. S. No, mm, the same thing. We'll just launch in an incognito window. Maybe I have already one. I'll just reload it. Yeah. So if you see over here, my sufferfay.com is now pointing to my custom path. Right. So I have now configured my virtual host and everything on the Apache 2, which points to my custom directory. I have created a directory sufferpay.com. We'll update the firewall status. Uh, it's inactive. Ignore this firewall status. You don't need to consider this in case if you're using EC2. We'll just do an app list to check and then I will do sudo systemctl allow. I need to allow this Apache full. Maybe we can do Apache secure as well but for now I will do an Apache full sudo uh, ufw um, allow and then i will do apache full so once i do this this rules are updated and you have to maybe i will 
restart the Apache 2, reload the Apache 2 configuration, yes. It, it, it is already done if you are doing Apache, just this, this, just a safer step. Uh, now I'll do sudo certboard Apache, just to install the uh, certboard uh, certificate, we'll enter the domain name, sufferpair.gmail.com, I'll press on yes, 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 everything should be yes. Okay, okay. We'll do for all, we'll just press enter. It is requesting for certificate, it is installing. Congratulations, your certificate has been installed. Yes. So now we are done to now let's go to our domain and check. Yes, so we have configured HTTPS on our custom domain that do successfully. We'll just to reload, uh, we'll just check the status of the cert port timer so this is just to check the set for timer this is a few things okay this is it this is running it will run again on it, it, it runs on twice a daily to check the expiry and everything we'll just do a dry run and see if the certificate got gets expired this works or not just a dry run once the certificate is uh, expired it will renew automatically that's it yep so guys thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe and let me know if you face any issues